Hello YouTube, um, here we come again once more with a quick video about the Mahindra Roxor. Uh, if you remember we put two previous videos up and uh, apparently each time we show up here the Roxor seem to be flying off the lot. So for those of you who are just discovering what the Mahindra Roxor is, um, it's a new UTV that was uh, announced in November 2017 went on sale on the 2nd of March 2018 and it's uh, manufactured by Mahindra Automotive of Auburn Hills uh, Michigan so it's assembled here in the United States from components made mostly I believe in India and uh, it gets manufactured here I think they're missing a bolt there or something so um you have about 20 percent of the components that are actually made in there oh i think this one they took the cab off so they're gonna put it back on so it's a frame on the uh, chassis on frame or frame on chassis whatever it is to take the body put it on the <laughs> box frame uh so yeah basically uh, mahindra which is an indian company originally it's now it's a big international brand acquired the rights in 1947 to manufacture uh, the Jeep wheelies. So they've been doing that non-stop from 1947 till date. And um, this is currently sold in India as the Mahindra Tar, T-H-A-R, which is a full, uh, you know, a vehicle that is used on road. Um, so 2nd of March this year, they came to the United States, but not as a regular vehicle, they came as a um it came as what i'll call a um a, ut a side by side a utv uh but basically this is a mahindra tar it has all the components all the dimensions parts are interchangeable uh, first thing you will note it's is uh it's powered by a 2.5 diesel engine that's manufactured this is derived from a uh, international or a peugeot so those are the two companies that we used to make this engine. It's a 2.5 liter diesel. Um, it's a direct injection diesel. It's called the M2 DICR, uh, direct injection with a common rail. Um, that engine puts out 62 horsepower at uh, 3,200 RPM. And it has a, a max torque of 144 pound foot at 1400 rpm uh, the vehicle weighs in at 3035 pounds so it can really carry uh, it can really pull a lot uh, 3035 pounds for the weight of the vehicle um, for the what it can carry it's rated for 349 pounds but that's just to meet the regulations for UTV, your utvs side by side here in the united states you can definitely definitely carry more than that but it's not recommended that, then you'll be uh, foul of uh, the rules and the law uh, other stuff uh, in india the mahindra tar which is a comparable vehicle sells for about six thousand five hundred to nine thousand nine hundred uh Locked, uh, lakh depending on the uh, lakh is a unit of uh, currency in India. The currency itself is uh, the uh, Indian rupee. So you have um, it sells from six thousand five hundred or six point five to about uh, nine point five lakh. So one lakh is a hundred thousand rupees. One lakh is a hundred thousand rupees, and in India, you know, they have the lakh, and then you have the crore. The crore is ten million rupees. So uh, six thousand five hundred to uh, nine thousand nine hundred lakh for a full, you know, fully decked out uh, version in India called the uh, Mahindra Tower, which you can check on YouTube. There's quite a few videos about that. Um, that would translate to about eight thousand to eleven thousand dollars here for the Indian version. That's before, you know, import duties and everything. Um, you have the hand grip, you have the warning. Do not do anything stupid. Um, this is also certified by the EPA and it's compliant, you know, the engine. Um, and 
like you know it's a direct injection common rail diesel so it lends itself to modifications you can see there the uh, throttle pedal it's actually an electronic throttle you see the cables so it's a drive-by-wire system um, it has hydraulically powered uh, steering wheel it's hydraulically powered uh, with assisted and then you also have the brake which is vacuum assisted also from the engine uh, the brake lines actually are made in the United States one of the parts made in the United States um, what else do we add here for, well, for aftermarket parts you have the bumper flares you have the lift kit uh, there's a company out in Chandler Arizona that does tuning for 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 this rock source they're speed limited to 45 miles per hour but uh, those guys are able they have they have been able to crack the code and now you can actually for five hundred dollars have your rock uh doing 70 75 miles an hour it has a 12 gallon tank that holds diesel you can see the tank in there you can actually see the tar name so that's the tank it takes uh, diesel 12 gallons which is uh, good for about 350 miles um, it should burn do between 32 and 34 miles per gallon uh, five speed gearbox that is derived from a, Pe a Peugeot unit Peugeot is a French uh, automobile manufacturer so that's where they got the uh, the gearbox from uh, other details you have the under seat storage boxes and I can tell you people uh, folks this is a very popular vehicle because there is they just seem to be flying off this lot um, they come in four versions you have the basic you have the basic two and then you have the limited edition and I believe the special edition the special edition they had just 300 of those made and then um, there is one which is called the June edition, not yet available. It will be available in late 2018, so sometime later this year. And that one would be on sale in California only. Uh, you have some very interesting color schemes. Uh, unfortunately, there is none here, but they have very bright colors like blue. And uh, you have the other subtle colors. And those limited edition uh, cars and the special edition, they have what seems like a tire thread on here and on here on the side uh, many people don't like that and they actually peel them off as soon as they get their their utvs you have a lexan windshield that is available and of course um it's, uh, it's believed that many parts from the jeep wheelies or the jeep cj5 cj7 lines uh, those would actually fit on this vehicle you can see um, the spray marks where they did the bed lining and then you can also see where they had components you know that fit in india taken out you can see it up front also in front of the gear shift lever so they have some bench seats that they use in the rocks or they go like that another one goes this way and then people sit in there uh, so that's one option that i've seen you have uh, the differential locks that are available and the locking hubs and the prices are very competitive because I believe the um, it's a Dana unit for that they have for the final drive. So uh, many parts from the Jeep Wheelie series or the CJ5, CJ7 should be interchangeable here. Uh, it's a very basic vehicle. Back to the basics, uh, with the only computerized thing being uh, that the, the engine is a common rail diesel with direct injection. That needs uh, to be managed by a computer otherwise everything is very very basic um, board of contention is this grill uh, the original jeep is a seven it has seven uh, slots and uh, there's an argument between fiat chrysler of america and uh, mahindra over who um, owns the rights to the grill and they don't want this vehicle to be sold in america but so far, uh, while they litigate, the things are flying off the, the dealer lot really fast. Uh, basic sales price here in the United States, I believe it starts at about uh, 15000 before taxes. And then it can go all the way up to about 20000 depending on your options. 
Um, well, so I believe that's all what I have for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate, comment, ask, and I'll be more than happy uh, to answer. You can see everything is uh, ready, just like the tar, you know, to put on the aftermarket bumpers. Comment, like, subscribe below, and I uh, will have more videos of the Mahindra, uh, Roxor, and other UTVs. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next one. This is coming to you from uh, Valley Spot and Marine, Minot, North Dakota.